Hey, what's going on, y'all? RJ here with CV Tech, and uh, today I'm going to be unboxing this all new device from Cricut Wireless. This is the Cool Pad Canvas, and best to my knowledge, this phone has not even been announced yet. Happened to just see it on the Best Buy website, uh, and the price right now is going for only $49.99. So, uh, pretty budget price there, but of course, here is the phone. And, uh, you know, I'm just kind of anxious. This is the first cool pad that I'm really kind of anxious to uh, and excited to unbox. So let's go ahead and open the flap up here. And the phone inside looks very massive. Uh, it is big, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, some of the specs here is 4G LTE speed with Android operating system. 5.5-inch uh, HD display, an 8-megapixel camera with front-facing 5-megapixel camera, a 1.4 gigahertz quad-core processor, 2,500 milliamp hour battery, and mobile hotspot. And over here is the updated plans, showing the unlimited there at 60, and five dollars a month credit each month for auto pay, and taxes and fees are included. So with auto pay, unlimited is 55 dollars flat out no taxes or fees it's all included in so that's really nice so let's go ahead here rip off the back tab it's kind of nice sometimes to see these phones that's not even been announced yet and get a hold of them and be able to unbox them and look at them and try them out and all that cool stuff so let's go ahead here and just set the box over here out of the way and we'll take a look at the phone let's go ahead and remove this plastic if I'm able to find where the little tab is let's go ahead and pop the phone out get that out of the way and we'll set the phone to the side for a moment and just see what comes in the packaging so under this little white piece of paper here we have your activation guide your terms of service, your quick and simple startup guide, your Cricut Nano SIM card. Uh, this right here is uh, your uh, micro USB charging cable here, and this big old uh, wall adapter. And okay, look at the massive size of that battery. That battery is the biggest battery. It's super thin. A super, super thin. I if I can focus that in a little bit there. Uh, I ain't going to focus in. But it is a super thin battery and a super huge battery, <laughs> to be honest with you. So let's go ahead here and just put this stuff back in the box that we don't need, like the term to service and all this stuff. And I really don't need this. So let me just uh, take this back out of here. Yeah, this is kind of different. I'm really anxious to try this phone out here for y'all and see how this... Is. Now, I'll be doing a number of tests on this device uh, in the coming days. So, of course, stay tuned for that. So, let's go ahead and just shove this here out of the way. Finally, after I get through messing everything up. <laughs> let's move it to the side and we'll unwrap the battery. I just can't believe how massively big this battery is, but it is removable, so which is really nice. Uh, but like I said, it is super, super, super thin, uh, but it's huge. So here's the phone, here's the battery. So yeah, you can pretty much see how big the battery is. So let's go ahead and take a look around the phone. Uh, front here, uh, the phone is uh, very very uh, lightweight and now up top here you'll see it has like a whole speaker grill all over the front and all on the bottom I'm not sure if it's fake or not because the rear speaker is back here so watch we'll it to see you know how that is but up front here is your front facing camera um, I'm guessing this is a solid black okay so your earpiece is under here somewhere your back home and recents button here your 5.5 inch display on the left side here is your volume rocker on top is your headset jack 
on the bottom is your micro USB charging port and on the right is your power button now this thing is uh, very dark and very sleek and it's very thin um, it does it just it feels pretty good but it feels very light on the back is your camera microphone a flash your Cricut Brandon and the cool pad Brandon and your rear speaker so let's go ahead here and we will uh, try to find how to open the back of this thing up and this is a LTE device which is really nice as well uh, so let's go ahead here and uh, I will go ahead and get the battery put in and all this stuff and I'll be right back okay so I went ahead and I got the back cover off put it up went ahead and put put a small SD card which is only a four gigabyte class 10 card just to you know take pictures and videos with put the battery in there I put the sim card in there as well uh, and all that cool stuff so let's go ahead and just pop this back in pop this back cover back on here this back cover feels pretty good uh, it's not slick it's not too grippy, but it's not too slick either. It's got kind of a, I don't know, a grayish, brownish look. It looks more of a brownish tint. So, not really sure how I feel about that. But, uh, other than that, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and pull off this front screen protector here. If I can, if I can grip it and get a hold of the thing. I'm having some issues tonight. Peeling off the stickers on, on this thing for some reason or another. there we go so yeah I'm guessing okay yeah huh now I said the ear speakers under here somewhere but it would only it's up here somewhere in this grill so okay my bad let's go ahead and give it its first boot up <laughs> so there you see there cool pad powered by Android and very small writing and So yeah, this is a pretty big phone, uh, pretty massive, uh, but it looks good. The screen so far looks really good. Uh, I have unboxed a few cool pads in the past. Uh, I had the cool pad Rogue, uh, which was a very entry level device, and I had another cool pad uh, that I can't remember the name of at the moment right now. But um, you know, this one here just uh, kind of reminds me a lot. The design of this phone reminds me a lot of the ZTE Warp Seven. Uh, same display, uh, the same kind of curves, and a lot of cool pads do mimic ZTE devices. So I'm going to go ahead right now and uh, set this thing up, and when I get finished, I'll come back. Okay, so we are all set up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and power the phone on and unlock it. And now let's go in here and look around the phone a little bit. Now this phone comes with very, very little bloatware. Uh, no, and remind me later. Very little bloatware, as you see there, there's not a whole lot, and it looks just like a ZTE, you know, when we first undo it. You know, it does have your uh, My Cricut photos, it's got a gallery on it. I uh, don't see an actual gallery, which is uh, a major bummer, because I like to have an actual gallery uh, in a phone. So it looks like it just has Google Photos uh, on here, unfortunately. So, got Google, you got Google Drive. Uh, the Play Store, Play Music, stuff like that, sound recorder, and all that. So let's go into settings here. Now this phone, from what I have seen, has it, it feels very smooth, and I'm, it looks kind of dark. I do apologize for that. For some reason, it's just not uh, wanting to brighten up or something. This must be my camera or the lightning here or something. But uh, the screen is very vibrant. It's very bright. This camera right now just cannot do it justice at all. So we'll scroll down here a little bit, and we will look at a few things. Got adaptive brightness here. Uh, power, press power button for camera, uh, ambient display, uh, wake screen when you receive notifications, which is really nice. Let's kind of bring it in a little bit here and look at a few things here as we are scrolling through some of the set of the phone. Now, it'd be kind of nice if these buttons down here could be changed from you know the back button being over here instead of being on the right side because I'm not it's just not I don't know it just feels funny uh, brightness level wallpaper all that stuff these buttons here don't seem to light up at the bottom either so that's kind of a bummer uh, look at the storage here it does have uh, 16 gigabytes of onboard storage and it looks like that uh, well I don't know 
it says 1.93 gigabytes used of 10.08 so I'm guessing it does have 10 gigabytes out of 16 and 1.93 has already been used up of that so I'm guessing you know 8 gigabytes available to user uh, from the box it really don't show here but I'm guessing that anyway and I will fill you in on that on future videos uh, we'll go down here and as you see this phone does come out of the box with Android Nougat uh, which is a surprise um, what, well, it didn't say it on the box wasn't expecting that but it does come with Nougat which is really awesome and all that stuff so let's go ahead and back out of here uh, Cricut software update schedule power on and power off like I said I do apologize that the lighting is not very good the focus is not very good for some reason the light is just not cooperating with me today uh, so I do apologize for that uh, sound notifications um, all that stuff it does not show any service I got the sim card in there uh, but right now it shows no service because it's not activated so yeah uh, but overall the phone so far seems very smooth uh, I'm not really sure how much RAM is in the phone uh, I know it does have 16, 16 gigabytes of onboard storage and I know it's got between 1.5 and 2 gigs and this does have the 1.4 quad core so I'm guessing it's probably the 425, 430 I will check into that so let's go into camera right quick light and from what I'm seeing the camera really don't look bad um, pulling over this screen protector here um, the image seems to look pretty crisp and clear taking a photo there uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it and zoom it in um, of course in low lighting it's not going to do the best in the world but you can make out the text and it's not May 15th. I don't know why it says that for. Oh, <laughs> um, I don't know where my mind's at tonight, but uh, this is just a screen protector. So, yeah. Uh, let's go <laughs> look at the front facing camera tonight. And the front facing camera looks pretty impressive. It's very bright and it looks very, very clear. And uh, so I'm kind of shocked about that. And I'm really interested to see how the camera quality is going to be on this device. Now, let's go ahead and go into settings here. Uh, that's actually some effects got fisheye gray sepia cool color um abc uh, ab color um uh, soft light focus and uh invert and so i'm guessing up here is the settings and it is five megapixel and the video i see what it what it does in video and it does not show me here Oh, because I'm not in video mode. That could be why. So it does record in full 1080, as you see there, 720 in the front, and 480. So let's go ahead and go back to the, go back to the rear. And I'm sorry, this is kind of a long unboxing. I'm wanting to just kind of give you a first look as well. Um, go back into settings here. 8 megapixel camera, really nice video. Does uh, record in. ten eighty, seven twenty, and four eighty as well. And you do have night mode. So really nice. But yeah, overall I'm kind of impressed with this cool pad. It's very smooth, very fluid. A drop down up here. Uh, of course it has a seven point oh uh drop down flashlight for the back, which is really nice to see as well. So I'm interested to see uh, how this phone's gonna work out. I'll be doing some tests on it. And I may throw in, if I can find somebody with a working SIM card, throw it in there, test the call quality out, um, test the reception, see how the reception is on, if it's strong, if it's weak, and all that stuff. So uh, anyway, cool pad canvas. Uh, pretty impressive phone for $50. You can't really beat it um, from what I've seen so far. But I will, in a couple of days, I will get back into it. Uh, back into another video explain my first thoughts on it and after using it for a little bit so stay tuned for that if this was helpful and informative in any way and if it made you laugh because i did make a few mistakes uh thinking that it was actually may 15th just by looking at this right here in a camera i mean that that's just it's late at night okay 
it's very late at night. So, apologize for that. So, if you laugh, so if this made made you laugh any at all, or if this was helpful and you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. I sure would appreciate it. Uh, any questions or comments, leave it down below in the comment section. Get back with you as soon as possible. You ain't subscribed yet? Hit that subscribe button for future content on this cool pad canvas, along with some other phones that's going to be coming to the channel very, very, very soon. Uh, hit that little bell for for that content to be notified when I do upload those. That would be awesome. Y'all have a good one, and we'll see y'all in the next video.